Hey guys, welcome back. Just another quick video. This one's going to be a tech video. Um, when I get into the winter, I like to do these tech videos just because it's something I'm always working on uh, at some point in my life or another. But today, I just want to go over how to make a very simple landing page. I know there's a lot of subscription services you can buy that want to take money from you every month and have you use their landing pages. And they do make it very simple and very easy. But if you're cheap like me or you just want to make a basic website, right? This this could be the thing to do it. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need Bootstrap, which is available at getbootstrap.com. All these links will be in the description. You're going to need Bootswatch, and then you're going to need a web host. So, uh, you know, we can get started. Let's get to the computer. We'll go over the file and the downloads and the structure and all that good stuff. So let's get a computer. We'll talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the computer. Sorry, my chair's a little squeaky. You may hear that throughout. Um, just to go over a quick landing page real quick, uh, and these are just basic landing pages. Again, I'm not a web dev or anything. So, you know, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, oh, you didn't do this right, you didn't do that right. But this is what I do that works for me. So if you have a constructive comment, I'll be happy to take a look at it and see if, if we can do an improvement to this video down the road. But one of the things, first thing you're gonna need is a text editor. I assume you all have a text editor. Uh, I use Atom, uh, it's free. Uh, you go out and get that if you need one. Pretty easy to use. And next, we're going to start by making a file called uh, index.html. Um, it's going to have your basic HTML pieces in here. And that's one thing you will need, just a, a basic understanding of HTML. I am by no means an expert in it. I just know enough to be dangerous. And if I can do this, I guarantee you that you can do this too. So now that we got our text editor, basic HTML, uh, we need to go download Bootstrap. And Bootstrap is basically a CSS JavaScript add-on to your HTML, right? So you can code in line with your HTML, call these JavaScript CSS type functions, classes, whatever you want to call them, whatever, whatever uh, all you good nerds call them out there, and integrate them into your website. So I think the current version is 5.1 three maybe five one something right so go download that and then and i'll have links to all this in the description so you can see what's going on down there and, and get to this stuff and then if you you know if you want to make more theme stuff you can go right here to bootswatch.com and what that does is that has some different types of themes we can use uh to get the our color schemes going and our typography and you know all that good stuff it's already built in and done so a lot of the heavy lifting for this is is done for you and you can just concentrate on making your web page and we're going to get two of these we're going to get this darkly one and if you go down here and click this download you can just download that bootstrap min.css because that what that does that replaces your current bootstrap man when you download bootstrap so and we're also going to use this cerulean uh, however you say that anyway we're going to grab that one too just to show different themes uh so getting into uh the html piece like up here is is kind of the bootstrap stuff the basic uh what i would call html the doc type all that stuff right that's in about every web page so you can go out i'll put a link to this also so you can just go out view the source and copy all this if you want to give you a, a good starting point uh so we're going to put our title it's going to call my landing page and i didn't want to sit here and type this in line and bore you guys to death so i went ahead and pre-typed it just so you can see you know how we deal with that uh you know and then i've got a header down here oh first we got a div and a div is just basically it's like a it's a container right where you're going to put stuff and if you know anything about bootstrap uh you know you, you already know this stuff if not you, you know bootstrap is basically a grid system also in it where you can put columns rows add padding on the outside um all that good stuff and then every one of these is what that's doing you know, and what i want it to do is so div class column md4 column xs12 text center all that is i want to have a web page that goes center down the page with like padding on each side that's what i want basically one column down the middle and this is the beautiful part about this this is responsive and what that means it'll look and adjust for every device that opens if you're on a computer it will look it'll look great if you're on a phone it'll look great if you're on a tablet it'll look great it'll auto adjust 
because that's a big deal these days. You never know what device someone's using to come at your web page. We in the first uh, in the first div, we're going to put you know a header that says "Buy my stuff," right? So. Uh, really, it's just like a, a landing page example, right? Welcome, I want you to buy my stuff. That's a, that's a paragraph, so that's a little smaller one. And then you go. You can also do, here's, here's a bootstrap example that gets pulled in, a class equals lead, which means a, it kind of a bigger, more grabby uh, line of text. Wait a minute, I really want you to buy my stuff. Um, and then you can say, my stuff costs only 100, but you do the delete portion, and that does the cross out on it, and say, wait, today it's only $75. And then we got a couple P's to pad, which I'm sure this right here is not right, but it gives me a little spacing between my divs. So that's the way I do it. I'm sure somebody out there knows a better way to do that, or, you know, whatever, comment uh, if you, you know, I'm sure you will if you hate it. So. <laughs> So then uh, we're going to start another div, and, in, and I'm going to show you how you can just embed videos or, or whatever in here, right? In the meantime, check out this playlist I put together of all the videos I have made about my awesome product, and and we close out that div. These these lines are here. That's a closing tag, right? So closes out the divs here. Uh, we open up another one, do the same centering and padding, and then this iframe, that's actually what you copy when you do share on, say, like a platform like YouTube or, or whatever, you can you can get the HTML. So it's going to take that same centering effect, I'll call it, and it's going to apply it to that iframe, which is the HTML share of, of that video. And it's, I just threw in one of my videos in there so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and then it closes out the iframe, closes out the divs, and then uh, you know we go into more into our lead, uh, squeeze page, whatever you want to call it, right? Not convinced yet, perhaps you'd rather watch this video. And we just put another video in. And uh, again, we got the P's, right? P's are just really how you're adding text in. Uh, just what I would call normal text, or maybe this random image of the eighth grade, my eighth grade boombox will close this deal. Then, uh, you know, close out that div and uh, add this image. Um, and then the source is in our image directory, which we're going to go over those folders here in a second. We're just going over the file real quick. And, and it pulls that image and displays it in that same centering uh, method. And then uh, on the last one, we have a button. And uh, the button is a buy now with a link, so you can link to whatever your product is, uh, wherever it's sold, whatever, or a payment uh, gateway, wh whatever you want to put in there for whatever you're doing. Then we added a little footer. I'm not going to go a lot into the footer. Uh, really, it's, it's very much the same thing, and they're just links to uh, different pages that we'll create you know, at another time later. Um, so let's get into like the structure of what we want to do. First, we're going to download that Bootstrap, uh, and when you download, it's going to have two directories, CSS and JS. And I usually just uh, make a project folder, and I, I call this project folder landing page. I copy uh, Bootstrap over, which has the CSS and the JS. I copied it from where I downloaded it. I just named it Bootstrap. Put those put those in there, and then I created uh, a folder called Image. That's where I put my image. I'm going to share my, my boombox image. Uh, this is my index file. This is this file right here that has all the HTML slash CSS references to it, I would say. Uh, and then I created this custom folder. It's called SCSS. That's where we put our custom CSS. So right now it's empty. Um, but this is where we can put our our boot swatch themes in there where it will look here first and overwrite the bootstrap min that comes with uh, bootstrap so l now that we've got this in here we'll do a file save uh, that now that we have that all typed in I don't need to save it because I did before I started this video but now let's go over here and let's just take a look at what it looks like right there it is oh look that looks horrible it's not centered it's not picking up any of our stuff um, that's because we don't have our CSS men uh, in there defined. Oh, look at that sweet boombox. So what we're going to do is, oh, and here's our button down here that we made there by now. There's our footer, right? So, so none of that is showing up good. So what we need to do is go back to our folder, and let's start with Darkly, right? Because that'll be the biggest. So let's copy that. And then we're going to copy that into our SCSS or paste it into our SCSS custom folder, right? And then we're going to go back to our web page. Let's go up to the top, and let's refresh that. 
bam, there's our theme, right? We got a dark background. Here's all of the code we typed in. I'll buy my stuff, right? Welcome. I wanted you to buy my stuff. Wait a minute. I really want you. That's our lead, right? See how that shows up a little bit bigger than all the other ones. Here's our delete call where it says it's a hundred dollars. Now wait, today only it's seventy five. Uh, it kind of walks you down as as what you know in the days of of original internet what a traditional landing page was. Now. You can get fancier with fancier themes and all that, but this is just showing you the basics of on, on how I create it. Now, you know, in the meantime, check out this playlist together of all the awesome products I have and basically just link that iframe in YouTube, right? And, uh, and that shows up centered there also. And if you look, like, it, let's get to some text. Like, see how that text wraps? Because it would be outside our centering there. If we make this big, well, the wrap's gone. So that's that's how it is responsive. Uh, I'm going to bring that back in so we can flip between a little easier. But that, that would be the same for a phone. It would probably wrap this more, add padding on each side, make this a little smaller, fit it in. You know, here, here it is, uh, you know, basically all of our P-State. These are our different divs right here, right? And not convinced yet, maybe you'd rather watch this video to learn more. Or maybe this random image of my eighth grade boombox will close the deal. Uh, that one, again, centered. And when we saw that in the original, remember, it was really wide and, uh, you know, over here to the side. And so that just resizes it to make it better for this screen. Uh, and there's our Buy Now button, which we just have linked to my website right now. But And, of course, our footer comes into play here. So really, that is that is a basic landing page. Like I said, uh, I will... I will link to, to this code uh, so you can grab it and, and try this out for yourself. But it's really pretty easy. Let's go ahead and, and try that different theme, right? So let's delete that. Uh, let me just drag it to the trash. That may be the quickest. Drag that to the trash. And then I'm going to go back to this one. The we're going to copy that. And we're going to put that into our SCSS, our custom SCSS custom CSS folder, right? Now we go back here and we go ahead and refresh because we're, we're just opening that file off my computer. There we are with a different theme. So you see kind of how easy it is to flip back and forth. Now, adding this button, is it's probably a little different. You're going to have to, um, let's go back to Boot Swatch. So let, let's take this this theme, for example. We can do a preview. So so here's kind of the things you can add to it, like uh, nav bars. Now, now, traditional landing pages don't have nav bars, but if you want to make a web page of your own, uh, you could just go in here, copy this code, and you know change the text portions of what the headings are, and bam, you got you a nav bar, right? You could just link them to different pages you create and and go from there. Um, buttons, same thing. Like I use the danger button. So uh, you click this little thing next to this on Boot Swatch, and you find your danger button. You copy this code, put it in here into your uh, web page, and bam, you've got a button on there. And then you can link to it with the ahref tag, a tag, I guess, whatever you want to call it, um, and get it to link to your buy page or your payment page, whatever. whatever. Same thing with all these different things right here. Uh, you can Here's your typography examples. Uh, here's a, an example body of what it looks like with a link. Um, these are your emphasis you can add to your text. Block quotes you can do. Let's say you want to do a group of testimonials under here, you know, to continue your cell on your squeeze slash lead page. You could do block quotes of, you know, a customer testimonial signed by, you know, some famous customer uh, or some great customer or whatever, right? So what you could do is you could do the same thing. Grab the block quotes text, put it in, you know, your div and, and, and type away on your personalization of that testimonial. So really pretty easy. Um, and, and again, you do have to know some basic HTML and some hints for that would be um, go to Code Academy. Just take the basic HTML classes. Those are, you know, those will go over the basic tags, the divs, the body, the head, uh, the footer, all that good stuff, right? And then all this class stuff, that's all bootstrap stuff added in, right? That's to make it 
space and uh, sit properly on a page per a device, right? Whatever that device is. These P's, that's that's normal HTML. That's just where you type your text in, right? And then you can add some some fancy stuff to it, like the delete. That's where it crosses it out, so you can show you have a sale. Um, you know, and you want to take that out, you just you remove those two tags for the, the DEL there, and that's gone, and delete this line, and you're back in business at regular price, right? So, again, pretty easy. Uh, again, I will link to all this. Uh, I'll just, I'll probably make a page on my website uh, for this example. Link to it down below. You can right-click it, you know, view the source, grab all of it, put it in your browser, or put it in your uh, text editor and play around with it. But don't forget, you got to download these things, right? You got to get boots, you got to get Bootstrap, uh, you got to get Bootswatch, that min CSS. Um, another thing you want to talk about on Bootstrap, like when it does that spacing, that's called the grid system. So if you want to do different type of spacing, go to the documentation on Get Bootstrap, go under Layout, go under Grid, and you can see different ways and the code that comes along with it on how you can lay some of this out. Um, again, I, I like to keep it simple. Uh, I, I kind of like the old school look of lead pages. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, want to get fancy with theirs and do, and, and if that's the case and you don't have the skill, you probably just need to buy a service, but um, this, this can at least get you started. I think that's that's all I really wanted to cover today on this lead page uh, introduction. I, I mean, I, I got my website live. I use Bootstrap. I use Bootswatch. Uh, so you you know you can go there and even and look at just some of the basic stuff that I do to to kind of you know show my YouTube channel to an audience outside YouTube. I guess if 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 anybody can find it out there, we'll see. But yeah, I I did the same thing with that. Um, didn't get too fancy. Now, there's going to be some stuff that doesn't work on mine yet because I'm still working on it, right? I, I, there's going to be some search bars, you know, different things like that. But I'm, I'm gonna, as I get that stuff done, I'm going to do a few videos on it as tutorials or whatever to, to get that done. But anyway, just a quick one to show how to make a basic web page. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see, right? What, what detail do you think I skimmed over? Um, I've been doing this for quite a while like this so I you know some of this just becomes second nature at some point um, I do <laughs> you know I do have people I can reach out to for help and, and help me make things better but um, again just a basic start so let me know what you think let me know your thoughts how you do it would be even better right um, a, as a non-dev person uh, and uh, I think that's it we'll close it out here thanks Hey guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, more of these videos to come. If you like these, let me know. I can make a ton of these. Like I said, that's just for a very basic page. You want to get into the details of Bootstrap, check that out with the documentation. You can change topography, all that good stuff. Make Just make it uh, a little nicer. But to get you started, that's where we're at. I, I'm not a professional web developer, so I'm sure I'm doing some of these against somebody's rules or something. But this is what works for me. And I'm going to keep at it. Uh, my new website's up. Build it this way. Check it out, rickbolt.me. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll keep chipping away at that, too, and improving that. So that's all we have today, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next.